It is day one of Salesforce's mega conference in San Francisco. Dreamforce is the biggest conference in the city since the pandemic hit, and a lot has changed since then. KTV's Christian Captain joins us now live from the city with the latest on the conference and the first impressions from those visiting San Francisco. Christian. Yeah, so Julie, you'll have to forgive me. I'm going to speak pretty loudly to speak over the Yacht Rock concert that is going on here on Howard Street right now. As you well know, Dreamforce is a huge draw, regularly bringing tens of thousands of visitors to San Francisco for the big convention. This year is no different. Dreamforce 2023 is officially underway. The annual conference taking over a full block of Howard Street at Moscone Center. The conference kicking off with a keynote address from Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff, who discussed the latest generation of Einstein, the company's customer relationship management tool, which now features a generative artificial intelligence conversational assistant. Benioff also saying he's made a commitment to Bay Area schools, hospitals, and the community, urging those attending to do the same. And we can say, I can take this forward. Love thy neighbor as thyself. This is an opportunity to do it. I love doing it in my business. I hope all of you will adopt these models too. This is an incredible moment for all of us. Salesforce is expected to draw more than 40,000 visitors to the city this year. Benioff has said recently that if there are problems surrounding this year's Dreamforce with crime or negative interactions with homeless, this could be the last Dreamforce held in the city. San Francisco's mayor attended the keynote and referred back to Benioff's tweet following last year's Dreamforce, saying it was a success with no reports of safety incidents. The mayor saying the city is committed to making sure this year's Dreamforce goes smoothly. The fact is, over the time that they've been in San Francisco, they have always, always had a great convention. So we're looking forward to their continued commitment to our city. The annual conference doesn't just bring prestige. The city's Office of Economic and Workforce Development said it also brings a lot of money into the city as well. Over 40,000 attendees, almost 80,000 room nights over the course of the term that they'll be here, and almost $60 million pumped into our local economy. That's huge, and it's not just Salesforce, right? We have other ones coming. So far, visitors say they've enjoyed their stay. Crime is not on, on my mind, you know. Um, I know the situation with the homeless people is really bad here in, in, in San Francisco, and I know, the, you know they're trying to do the best for the people. But, um, I mean, so far I didn't notice anything that I would say, like, oh, this is critical or this is something that's really bad. While the conference draws visitors from all over, it also draws locals who say they want the convention to stay right here in San Francisco. On the personal level, it's important because I'm not sure I would be able to go because if I needed to travel uh, to the conference, just having it here locally, it's great. And Dreamforce runs through Thursday here in San Francisco. We're live, Christian Captain, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, so much at stake and a lot riding on this conference, how it all goes down. Just uh, what, what are you seeing? Are you seeing a big police presence? Some of the people there that you spoke with today are saying, yeah, they feel comfortable, they feel safe in the city. But what are you seeing? Is there a large police presence in that area right now, Christian? Yeah, as a matter of fact, Julie, you, you nailed it. There is a large police presence right here behind me. There were a group of about a half dozen or so San Francisco police officers, SWAT officers, monitoring the areas where conventioners are coming and going from the conference, trying to keep an eye on it. It's interesting, though, when you talk to the conventioners, they didn't seem to mention the police presence. The ones that we talked to, when we talked to about a half dozen overall, said they just felt safe so far. Uh, but remember, this is day one. Hopefully, things remain the same here in San Francisco. All right, well, good feedback there on day one at the Dreamforce Conference in San Francisco. Christian, thank you.